be like, hold up, hold it, bitch. What you mean? And I, ooh. I 
I said, the best part about falling is getting back up. I feel like I kind of jinxed myself or I predicted the future. Cause right after that, when I tell you my butt, it was like something pushed me. There was no wind. I fall completely backwards. And as I'm falling, my ankle goes snap. Sire looked like she got possessed. And he all <laughs> That's all I heard when Sire was falling back. She like, it was like a fish out of water. Sire like went backwards. You know, when you see athletes, like it was really first person perspective to really see that happen in real life. And I thought Sire was like joking around, but she started crying. Like it was bad. Luckily, cause my skates were wrapped tight. It prevented the bone from coming out the skin. Ooh. It was a clean break. Once you break a bone, you know it's broken. Like you don't need an x-ray to tell you, you just feel it. It hurts so oh. bad. Give this video a thumbs up if you've broken a bone before or you're currently recovering. There's a lot of people that have broken a lot of bones lately we've been meeting. So um, hopefully you guys don't if you haven't, but if you do, hopefully this feel makes you feel comfortable, more relatable, that you're not the only one going through it. Our mom and Imaja, well after we took off the socks, look at it, it was, the buddy was swollen. It looked like a thumpkin from Spy Kids. It looked like it had no neck. It was looking like pig's feet. Buff neck. <laughs> yes. Pig's foot with French tips on there. <laughs> That's what that looked like. It was turning blue. It was turning purple. It was bruising really, really fast. They're in the car and they thought that they had to be quiet so I could be calm. But I was like, can y'all talk? Can y'all play some music? Yeah, this is on the way to the emergency room. So like, you know, everyone's in shock. Like, let's just get her there fast. Because of COVID, if you are of age, 18 and older, your parents cannot come with you inside the emergency room. This was my ankle right here, you see, it's fat. So eventually they got me into the room and the doctor came in, he's like, it will be amazing if you didn't break your ankle. And he looks, he's like, yeah, that's definitely broken. But we're still gonna do x-rays. So they x-rayed me, they put me in a little splint until I was able to get surgery. So I was at home in pain. But here's the x-ray, I broke my fibula. This is exactly what my ankle did. Woo! <laughs> and the skate. Woo! Yeah. And that's on Jason Deruler, cuz. On Jason Deruler, cuz. Alright. And so it's been it was a couple of days before I had my surgery. So here's a little video of Brasaya drying my ankle because it got wet. You think you're gonna be able to dance again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> about what content can we do with her in her situation. But y'all seen it on Instagram and, and TikTok. Y'all seen it go viral. You know, we don't let it stop. So if you guys haven't seen these videos and stuff, go to our Instagram and TikTok, follow us on that. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but it will not touch my work ethic. Here we go. The next thing is a video of Imaja making me feel good and laugh. <laughs> Shaking that thing. Yeah. So this one's not quite as bad. Mm -hmm. This one just goes like about an inch into each nostril. Okay. So at five seconds on each side. Mm -hmm. It's not as uncomfortable because it's not going all the way back so it doesn't burn quite as much. Mm -hmm. um, but it can make your eyes tear. Okay. And then I'm going to go on the left side. First. Once it hit my vein, your girl was 
She was a little schmidt. A little dress. And they did that because they have to put a nerve blocker. So a nerve blocker prevents you from feeling any type of pain at all. Like if I woke up during surgery and I looked down, I would be grossed out from what I saw, but I wouldn't feel anything at all. Whew, which is crazy. So they did that in front of me. They used an ultrasound. An ultrasound is like an x-ray so you can see the nerves in your body and stuff like that. And they did that. Shout out to my boot. Cat and boot strap. They did that on the lower half of my leg. They numbed it and they shot this long needle into my nerve. They said all your pain receptors are on your skin, but boom, couldn't feel my leg. And then after that, they're like, okay, it's time for surgery. They're pushing me into the surgery room and I've never seen a surgery room before. But I started freaking out because I saw all their utensils. It looked like hostile. Ooh, it looked like saw. Like Ooh. I used to see nothing but sharp utensils all lined up against the wall. And then there's a metal table and they pick you up. Well, for me, they had me scoot over. But they had me <laughs> scoot over the table and they said lay down. You take off your mask. Anesthesia. Anesthesia. Well, okay, they said it's supposed to like sting a little bit. My mom told me it's because he, he put it in too fast. He was like, you're, you're gonna feel a little, a little steam. My whole arm felt like it was on fire and it felt like it was shooting all the way up into my neck. And once it got to right here, your girl knocked out. And then I woke up back into the regular emergency room. He put you to bed like Jay Holiday? To bed. I'ma put you to bed. Good riddance. So after that, I was like, I started to wake up and I was just like, like the other nurse came to me and I said, I'm in Vampire Diaries. <laughs> and she said, huh? I said, I'm in Vampire Diaries and Damon is gonna save me. Cause everyone knows after you get put to sleep, when you wake up, you're very loony. You're saying a Loopy. lot of things. And I kept telling people and the other patients, I was like, I'm gonna escape. I'm gonna escape here. Damon <laughs> is gonna save me and I'm gonna escape. So once Imaja and our mom got me into the car, I completely blacked out and I forgot everything. That girl was crazy. Like, I don't know if y'all from LA and y'all go to downtown LA and you see them bums just talking crazy. It wasn't all the way there, but it was something like that. I but was Sire, city. Sire, Sire saying stuff about Vegeta and, <laughs> and um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was just crazy. It was, it was wild. We was a little bit scared. Oh, and then so Sire, we was getting her out the car, and um, I'm standing up beside her in her wheelchair, and she was like, oh, shit. <laughs> she thought I was a giant, and then if I was a giant, she was about to air on my business. She was like, shh, almost said something. <laughs> I almost told me you were a giant. Sire did pretty well, you know. <laughs> she wanted to watch Crude so bad. And she was lit. We could probably insert that one. Yeah. Maja did show me that one's not too embarrassing. Yeah. So I was like, they need to have Chief Keep on Crudes. <laughs> they hey. had Chief Keep rap on this. Uh, no. So, you know, that kind of wore off. And then we had some battles, but you overcame a lot. After you watch this video, go take a walk. <laughs> Enjoy your two ankles. Take a jog. Because it is hard to operate with one ankle. Let's, let's talk about showers. Let's talk about getting to the bathroom. Let's talk about walking around the house. You got your scooter, you got your crutches. Let's talk about trying to sleep. It is very, try to get cute with one ankle. You don't understand how important both ankles are until you lose one. Bruh. We have two studio sessions, vibes, and she had to go loads. Two flights of <laughs> stairs. <laughs> Studio to the ground. <laughs> I gotta gotta go up. Yeah. So March 11th is when I went in, so they could take it off and show me the results. And let me tell you, this was the grossest thing I've ever seen in my life when they were putting it off. My foot went from piglet to Walking Dead. done this a lot of times.
to stop because my left ankle is not as strong as my right ankle. <laughs> and if I break the left ankle, wraps next. I feel like Wolverine. I look up like, it was a clean break. I don't think I needed all those screws. You know what's crazy too is that a lot of these people were filling her head up like she would stuff not gonna be the same. She might not be able to dance the way she used to. And it's like, mm -hmm. why are we doing that? You know, I feel like the mind is really powerful and sorry can come, overcome anything. And you're going through surgery, you're recovering. Don't feel bad at all. Push, push yourself. You can do it. If you have family members, cling on to them and, and just be, be loved. And don't be afraid to ask for help. Yeah. <laughs> Sire was trying to get a cut from the kitchen. It's like on maybe like the second shelf. And um, I, we're missing like a screw. So um, our brother who's putting away dishes didn't put it up right. And so everything fell and glass broken everywhere. All the glass cups broke. All I because, for help. exactly. But I will show you guys my ankle. The big reveal. The big reveal. Oh, it's a little air pumper too. Yeah, okay. Click, click it a little bit. Click it a little bit. Yeah, get that air circulating. Mm -hmm. It's time for the circulate. It's time for the circulate. This makes me feel like a uh, Dark Vader. I yeah. understand why he was so angry. So here's the incision right here because of the ligament that was torn. That was a pop I heard. I felt like there was an easier way to do this, but. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how far the scar is of my broken fibula. Fibula. But it's healing. You it see that? Good. And all this stuff is gonna go away. It's closed. She's a-okay. I can feel when it's gonna rain though. Sire can tell the weather. It's not a myth. It's yeah. a fact. So, so on the 26th, I get to start walking on both feet. Oh, with the crutches. She's gonna be doing physical therapy and all that stuff. Like this video if you're ready for a new Sarati album. Um, like this video if you want Sire to get better. All right, okay, we're saying great positive energy. Send this video to someone who has recently broken their ankle or is recovering and they're losing hope because this right here will show you if I can do it, you, you can, can do too. It. You can do it too. <laughs> That's on Linguine. That's on Linguine. On Jason the Ruler, cuz. Us, we're gonna heal with that Chihuahua energy. And that's on mamas. <laughs> on mama. <laughs> on play my e. Play my e. We're getting ready back to being this grind. You know, this is the stuff we've been working with. So everyone's like, where's the new YouTube videos? Well, I had to, you know, adapt to my broken ankle. Yeah, so we did small videos with like TikTok and Instagram, mm -hmm. but now we can get back into the uh, YouTube space. But like this video, subscribe if you guys are ready for a new playlist video. If this video doesn't hit a certain amount of numbers, then we're not gonna post playlist videos. So you guys need to support Sarati like you've never had before, because we're getting ready. We're adding a couple new things to the channel. So, we have a lot of things in store. Yeah. And you know when we say that, we're not lying. No. No, we're not. <laughs> so with that being said, we are out of here on three. You guys know the X, and if you forgot, then you need to be reminded. We're going to nasty clap on three. One, two, three. Let's go. Ewa. Ewa. Ewa.